So these are my top three tips on how you can be successful. The first thing you need to do is you need to learn how to work every day. Now, I know a lot of people like to take the holidays off. They like to take the birthdays off. When after they're nine to five, they go home and watch TV. You cannot be taking any days off. And I'm not talking about from a job. I'm talking about working on your dreams and your goals. The job that somebody else's dream and somebody else's goal that somebody made you a part of, not saying that it's bad, but you need to focus on your dreams and what you want. So once you get off of work, you should be going home to work on your dream. I don't care if it's doing some research. I don't care if it's sending out some emails. I don't care if it's asking somebody. I don't care if it's taking a course, an online course that you pay for. I don't care if it's researching a product. I don't care what it is. Once you get off of work, you have to go home and work on your dream. Cut off the TV, cut off the power, nothing against power. Cut off the Mori, cut off are you. That child's father, find out tonight on Mori. Cut it all out. Because what ends up happening is, it goes day after day after day after day after day after day. It's 30 days in a month. Rent is due every 30 days. Stop putting stuff off for tomorrow because if we take care of business today, we can work on a totally new idea tomorrow. So let's knock this out today and then tomorrow let's try to knock that out and every day we can get stuff done so that way we're able to pay rent and still be ahead of the game. You might make double or triple your rent money if you acclimate this work practice if you acclimate this work practice into your daily schedule, this will guarantee, this is guaranteed to put you ahead of the game. The second thing that you need to do is you need to learn how to put yourself first. And with doing that, you got to get used to the no word. Tell them no. You know why? Because you haven't accomplished all your dreams, goals, aspirations, and the things that you're trying to do. So how are you passing off things to other people and you ain't got everything that you want out of life. You can't pour from an empty cup. You just can't. So anytime somebody's pulling from your goals and dreams, you need to tell them no. Now exactly what does that look like? I'm glad you asked. Example, you're saving up a thousand dollars to start this business. You have nine hundred dollars Somebody calls you with a sob story. My rent is due. Me and my kids are going to get kicked out on the streets. I don't know what's going to happen. And I, I just want to call to see if you can loan me $500. Now, you need to analyze this situation. Why is it that they don't have rent if they know that rent is due on the first of every month? The car payment is paid. Hair and nails is done. Just went out to the club, popped them bottles, rosé. Why didn't they take that money that they went out with and save that toward they rent? I'm going to tell you why. Because they knew that you would come through. They can make all the bad decisions and you will come through and just clean up all of their bad decisions. They feel comfortable with spending their rent money. They feel comfortable with spending the money that they have for their light bill because they have a friend, a responsible friend like you that will bail them out every time they need something. That's why they feel comfortable. And that's where you come in and you say no. Because I seen you at the club last night. I seen it on your Facebook story. You was all on Instagram talking about yes, yes. Now, where is that rent money at? It's gone. So now it's time to be responsible and you can't be responsible. Y'all need to stop bailing people out of rough situations. I'm going to tell you why. God has put that in their life for a reason. They're supposed to get a lesson out of that. It's a lesson that comes out of not having and going through the process of not having. So that way, when you have, you appreciate it more. But when you intervene into that lesson that God put in their life, they never get the lesson. So they stay stagnant. And although you may feel like you're helping them, 
You're not. I'm just being honest with you. You're not helping them. You're actually hurting them. You're not helping them. So that's the second thing. Learn how to tell people no. The third thing, third thing I was tell you is always believe in yourself. Now, I know we live in a society where everything is just boom. I want it today. I want it right now. You see a lot of people's Instagrams, Facebook, it look like that they just got it overnight. But you didn't see them nights that they stayed up 10, 12, 14 hours working on that business, doing that research. You didn't see them sacrificing the money. I, I want to go out to the club and have me a drink, but I got to get this logo. I got to save up for this website. It's a lot of things you don't see. So just because somebody may be moving faster than you, don't let that affect how you move. You move at your own pace. As long as you know you're working every single day, don't sweat nothing. It will come. It will come. Trust me. Pay attention to your progress, your daily growth, and what you're doing. Don't be too caught up. I'm not saying that you can't look at other people for inspiration. Like, I want to be there one day, but you should never look at somebody and like, well, they only got this because of that. Well, if they wouldn't have had this, then they wouldn't be in this situation. Don't do that. You work and focus on what you have going on. You work diligently. You work every day. And you don't take any days off and be passionate. Believe in yourself. Believe that it's going to happen. Because it starts with you. It starts with you. How can other people invest in you and believe in you when you not even believing in yourself? See, other people look how excited you are about what you're doing. And that's how they judge if they're going to buy into it or if they're skeptical because you're skeptical. They're only skeptical because you're skeptical. So you want to keep that in mind and moving forward. Also, don't forget to join the Well Factor November the 1st. We're opening back up. We're accepting the first 100 people. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this video. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Thank you for all the love and support, and I wish y'all nothing but the best.